Hi, uh, I'm Alexis Sorrent, and Pastor Trish asked me to tell you about my theology of giving, and specifically about giving to Epworth. So the theology part uh, is fairly simple. I look to the Bible, and the Old Testament tells us that both tithes and offerings are expected. Tithes, meaning 10%, is the base amount which is intended for uh, regular support of facilities and staff dedicated to God. Offerings were over and above that on special occasions of thanksgiving or repentance or whatever. In the New Testament, Jesus said that uh, God has claim on everything about us, including everything we have. My personal response is to dedicate a fixed percentage of my income to uh, the support of the local church. And then over and above that, to give to special offerings uh, from the church or to secular charities or whatever. Um, now, I take that percentage on my income before taxes, before any other necessities, uh, because I'm trusting God to uh, provide for me with 90% of my income. So I uh, can't say I've always done this, but uh, one time in a church maybe 30 years ago, uh, we were challenged to try tithing, or at least to approach it. And my husband and I decided we would try to do that. And it didn't take very long before it became a habit. And uh, one thing that I discovered was that if I stuck with it, even in times that were difficult, maybe even seemed a little risky, uh, things always worked out. And this experiment, uh, I think you could call it, actually increased my faith and my commitment to keep trying. So why Epworth? Well, about 20 years ago, I was moving into this area and was looking for an apartment, and I kept driving back and forth past this Methodist church, and it just uh, pulled me in. I felt that this was where I was meant to be. So at the first opportunity, I visited, and uh, what I saw when I looked around was a pretty homogeneous group of people. Uh, not the diversity I was used to in my last church, but okay. Um, I did notice one woman in a wheelchair, one man with long hair, a handful of people with races different from mine, and three men uh, who I think had a, some kind of mental handicap who got up and changed seats several times during this service. I did find out later they were from a group home near here. Uh, what impressed me was that all of these people who are a little different from the norm seemed very comfortable and well accepted here. And so I took that as a good sign and said, yes, this is, this is where I'll be. And at the first opportunity, I joined the congregation. I did no shopping whatsoever. And since then, I have appreciated the increasing diversity in the church. And I've really enjoyed getting to know people of different ages, different cultures, different style preferences, and different understandings of God's will. We were able to learn together, and I love that. Uh, over the years, there have also been ups and downs, fat times and lean times, highs and lows, just like in every family I know. In any given week, I can feel inspired, frustrated, proud, disappointed, let down, and loved, all mixed up together. Home and family are like that. Not perfect, but mine. The place to start doing the best I can to love and serve God in his world. <laughs>